Hello everyone, I'm Watson. In this video, we're going to learn how to supply efficient power to an IP camera far away from our PoE and VR. So the PoE technology is transmitting power and data through a single Ethernet cable, right? And with this technology, our setups would be just using one Ethernet cable to power this whole camera, providing the power and the data. Really convenient. And there is a device called a PoE NVR, which is a network video recorder in NVR with PoE integrated. This means it can encode, help us present the images on a screen, record the video feeds, and also provide PoE signals to our IP devices. It's really con convenient, and we're going to learn how to supply multiple high power IP cameras far away from it. So when we're supplying one camera, it's very uh, obvious we're just going to need an Ethernet cable and connect the camera to our PoE MVR. The power and the data is enough, although there is something called a power budget. So the PoE MVR can provide power, but it cannot like provide the maximum power output for every port. You can see there is eight ports over here and it has the power budget. It cannot provide a maximum of 30 watts for every port. So what do we do? Well, we can connect some small devices like a router access point to it. If we need something to provide a high am amount of power, we can use a PoE injector. So this PoE injector will connect between the IP camera and the PoE in VR. So the PoE signal, when it travels to here, it will only uh, pick up the data and then it will have its own power source to provide power to the data and then transmit a new such signal, a new PoE signal to this IP camera. So basically it is like the data and the power travels all the way to this PoE injector and the PoE injector takes the data and then combines the data with its own power and sends a strong PoE signal to our IP devices. And there's another part, it's going to be an IP device far away. In our previous video, we talked about using PoE extenders, the one input to output model, to, to create a 500 meter daisy chain extension. So basically like that. In this video, what we're going to do is going to connect the PoE MVR to the PoE injector. Then the PoE injector will connect to the in extender, the PoE extender, then to the PoE IP camera right here. So that is like the basic procedure. And let's take a look at this PoE injector. It is a gigabit PoE injector, so it can provide 30 watts of power output and 1,000 megabits bandwidth. It also has its own power supply, so all we need to do is use an adapter and connect it to a power outlet. So like that, and it's all ready. Now what we need to do is now get two short patch cords and a long ethernet cable and we're all set. So a total of three strings of ethernet cables. The first string we're going to use is going to the PoE in, in VR. The PoE in VR right here, we're going to connect it to the LEN. So the PoE signal will transmit out of here, but since this is a local area network port, it will only pick up the data and once it has received the data here, its own power from the injector will transmit a PoE signal out from this port. So now we have the power and data. We're going to use an Ethernet cable to connect the PoE signal, the PoE injector, to our extender. So the PoE extender, we're going to connect it to the PoE input port, of course. So the input port, once we plugged in, you can see the indicator is on. The indicator on meaning there's PoE signal coming to this extender. And if we're reaching for 500 meters, we can just extend, 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 extend. It's really basic. It's the same procedure, same steps. And then we're going to use one last Ethernet cable to finalize the connection. So one end to the PoE extender, the other to our PoE IP camera. Once connected, the camera is self-diagnosing and we wait a second. Once it's done, we will have an image on our screen. And voila, 
Now I'm going to wave my hand in front of the camera. You can see there is a live video feed and that means this connection is successful. So this is how we provide sufficient power to a POEIP camera far away from our POEM VR. And this is only a solution when there's too many, let's say, PTZ cameras which are power hungry devices connecting to the same POEM VR. If we don't use a POE injector, it might not be enough power for all those devices. But with a POE injector, this provides the its own power to the camera so it won't take a lot from the power budget. That's pretty much for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.